So, und äh, bevor wir weitermachen, wollte ich noch kurz auf ein paar Dinge hinweisen. Zum einen auf unsere Testzone, die wir hier ähm, neben dem Forum haben. Selbst Roboter ausprobieren möchte, die Firmen Siemens, äh, KUKA, Fanuc, Omron, Wandelbots, äh, Realtime Robotics äh, bieten hier die Möglichkeit, selbst mal irgendwie Hand anzulegen und äh, Cobots auszuprobieren. Das andere ist, es ist auch eine Übersetzung äh, verfügbar. Ähm, am Desk bekommen Sie Headphones. Wer also irgendwie in Deutsch ins Englisch oder Englisch in Deutsch übersetzen möchte, there's translation available. The headphones are uh, at the desk. So, ja, um, yeah. Sie können äh, diese Möglichkeit gerne nutzen und davon Gebrauch machen. Dann wollte ich noch so kurz ein bisschen Ausblick geben auf morgen und übermorgen. Also auch morgen gibt es hier den ganzen Tag Programm auf dem Automatiker Forum. Wir haben unter anderem ein Panel zum Thema äh, Robotik im Handwerk. Äh, wird auch mal ganz spannend, inwieweit auch äh, Roboter in dem Bereich äh, Möglichkeiten, neue Möglichkeiten eröffnen oder eventuell auch, ähm, ja, es da vielleicht auch noch die eine oder andere Herausforderung zu bewältigen gibt. Das andere ist, haben, wir haben nächst, äh, morgen dann auch noch mal ein Panel zum Thema mobile Robotik. Äh, auch da dann ein bisschen wollen wir darüber diskutieren, was, welche Chancen bieten äh, FTS, AGVs ähm, in der Industrie. Äh, wo gibt es vielleicht auch noch mal Grenzen, äh, Herausforderungen, aber vielleicht auch, was können wir so in der Zukunft äh, noch erwarten. Und am Freitag ist hier auch nochmal Programm, da haben wir unter anderem so das Thema E-Mobility, inwieweit auch die Robotik in der Fertigung von zum Beispiel Batterien unterstützen können. Also so E-Mobility e ist ein großes Schwerpunktthema dann am Freitag. So, genau. Und dann können wir jetzt aber weitermachen mit dem Thema Cobots. Und zwar Cobots with AI Vision und da freue ich mich auf den Vortrag von äh, David Wang von der Thier Firma Techman Robot. So, the stage is yours. Okay, thank you. Hi, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, I'm David, David Huang, I'm from Techman Robot and uh, Techman Robot, we are a Cobot manufacturer. And the most significant, most unique feature is that uh, we have a uh, Building vision system, and uh, I'm right now. I'm in charge of uh, leading the research and uh, development team of R and D, or especially uh, vision and AI. And today, I'm. It's my honor to be here to tell you how sweet, how good if you have a cobot with vision and AI. And let's get started. Okay, here, uh, this is the agenda I'm going to share the three topics. First, I will share what's the difference if your, your robot has vision, you're building vision, what's the value we can create it. And then I will going to share about some use case from our customers, how they use our AI to uh, give them a new direction of uh, intelligent manufacturing. And that's the, I will show you what my, from my opinion, what's the future, what's the future of the automation. Okay, let's get see the first, what the vision can create for a robot. Usually if you don't, if you use a traditional robot or cobot, when you teach points, all the points are recorded on a robot base. It means when the table and the robot are moved, I change their relationship, you need to reteach all the points again. But if you have a cobot with vision, usually we create a coordinate system based on the thing you look. You create a system on the object, and then you record all the points on this object. So once if your object or your table changed and moved, you just take another picture and you can update all the points. So it makes it uh, it's very uh, easy and very flexible to set to set up or to install your robot with uh, your uh, surroundings. But it's not easy for the integration of robot and vision because you, like for example, you're an integrator, you wanted to do that, you need uh, a robot control 
engineer, you need a vision, programming vision, uh, computer vision engineer, and then we need to work uh, closely to get this happen. But uh, your learning curve is very steep, and the technical threshold is also very high. And it, for right now, it's not easy to hire people with both of these skills. And the most important thing is that when your system really go online and something happened, it's a trouble to find the root cause because you need to find is it's a problem from robot, it's a problem from vision, or even it's a problem for your uh, vision software, anything. So it's not easy to clarif cl clarify the responsibility when the system fails. Okay, because usually your robot provider, your vision provider, they will shift blame to one each other. But in TechMan or any robot go with vision, we make it, uh, sorry, like a one-star shopping. Like uh, here, I want to show you some application about our customer use our robot. Here, you can use our robot to find objects to, uh, or to read barcode or pick up, uh, to read barcode or pick up carbon and do some assembly check. And use the, also reading uh, information from panels and use our uh, landmark for positioning and another inspection for electronic components. And also here we, ins we use our code bar to inspect every robot before shoot up shipment. And here we have a lot of different types of robot, oh, sorry. Here, and uh, we believe a robot should be born with a vision because we have such a uh, good uh, advantage for a robot with that. You, we provide one-star shopping because you, when you get a robot, you get a vision. And uh, when this go wrong, you just contact with us. And uh, because all the things are integrated, we put the hardware together, and we also integrate the software together. It means you just use our single software. You can program robot control. You can program vision identification with a very user-friendly, very intuitive user interface. And now I want to go to the next uh, next section I want to share is about AI. Uh, our customers, we have uh, our first robots released on 2015, and uh, right now mo most of our customers they are f very familiar, uh, very know how to use robot with vision, and and but they ask me if we can use robot for inspection, and the answer is yes. Because our robot has camera, and we get a lot of flexibility to check things from different distance, different angle, and very useful for inspection. I'll show you an example. These are customers uh, in Thailand. They make, uh, they produce SSD uh, for uh, the SSD and the hard hard drive. And then before they ship, uh, ship their products, they put the SSD into a color box, and they need to use uh, one, two, three, four, five camera here to check everything on the color box is correct. For example, they need to check the, bar the, the, the label to check the, the barcode on it. And then they need to check any stickers, a lot of things on this co uh, color box. But uh, this is a typical small volume, large variety production line because they change their product quite often. Maybe a week, they need to change to another uh, product. Okay, so when they change their product, their engineer needed to adjust all the camera position, maybe change the lens, maybe change the program, and it costs like one day or two days to get the other product online. So they come to us and ask us if we can use the robot to instead to replace the system they have right now. So that's the first type. They put uh, their stuff, their, their product here, and use the robot to check all the things they wanted to check. And right now, they make this, uh, this station fully automatically use a conveyor to transport all the product and use our robot to check everything for them. And in this use case, this uh, the, the item they need to check, they, they need to check the every information on the label and they check if the product uh, is uh, put the right sticker there. And the most difficult thing is they need to check the 
ceiling sticker here, and some stickers are transplantary. And this kind of things is not, it's very difficult for traditional machine vision algorithm. It, it's hard to set a lot of rules for that. But AI is appropriate to solve this uh, problem. Uh, here, this slide showing the difference between traditional machine vision algorithm and the AI. In traditional machine vision, you uh, input an image and you need your engineer to set up a lot of rules or maybe coding, code a lot of rules, and then you get the inspection result. And this is very difficult. You need a, a software engineer to do that. Uh, but with AI, you just input your image and you tell a computer the result of this image. AI can generate the rules by itself. And we call the rules is AI model. And when you get the AI model, you just put it online and get it input the image in, and you can get the result out. So I would say AI technology is a breakthrough of machine vision for everyone. Right now, everyone can use AI for visual inspection and very easier, very easy. OK, uh, I'll show you an example from another customers. These customers, they uh, manufacture uh, Toyota cars. And this is their, this is their uh, quality control station, the last stop before shipment. And they hand for a robots on the ceiling and they also installed more than 20 cameras surrounding the car to check everything of this car to make sure the assembly items are, are correct. So they, use, they need to check, like for example, the car frame, the tire frame, and uh, all the engine. Uh, and uh, your control panel, interior decoration, everything. They need to check more than 120 items within 80 seconds. But these things, something not easy with traditional machine version, and AI can help them a lot. And right now, when they have a new car, their engineer, their, their engineer can program this AI inspection by themselves. They need to call our sister integrator or even us. They don't need to do that. And we also uh, make a software for them to store all the images for uh, uh, for for the tr uh, for to trace in the future. So think about if one when they, when the customer got their car and see why there is a scratch over there, they can get all the images of when uh, when they make make this car. Okay. So in this case, we find uh, using robot and camera to take all the image of. Each product is very important because it creates product traceability. Because all of your product, the, the image are saved for further retrieval. And it, uh, so when you do that for your product, you earn your customer, sorry, you earn the trust of your customers. And you can also use this kind of information to optimize your, process, uh, your manufacturing process. And in Tegman, we do the same thing in our factory. We put two robot arm there for inspection to check every robot before shipment. Here's a video showing this, are, uh, this is in our factory. And the middle one robot, oh, sorry. Uh, can you help me put a later video? So there are two robots, and we inspect the robot. This robot is going to be shipped to our customers. And we take uh, 107 photos for these robots, and we check the items like uh, schools, is schools missing or exist, check the label information, and uh, check some stickers on the robot, and also schools. And uh, here we have different kind of lighting module and the different uh, stripe. And here's the, the other software we, uh, we made for, uh, for, for saving all the images for each robot. OK, uh, let's, I want to talk about future. Uh, like 25 years ago, uh, we just start get our first mobile phone, and we get our digital camera. And every day we go out, we took mobile phone, we take digital camera. And one day, 
a Japanese manufacturer, they put camera and uh, mobile phone together, and now you can use your phone to take picture, right? Huh? Right. And and uh, in 2005, maybe Steve Jobs make the iPhone. It's a camera. It's a ro uh, mobile phone with camera, and he also created a app store and allowed everyone to contribute their software, and this makes the life we have today. And I think the same thing is happening in the uh, uh, manufacturing, in the automotion, because in a couple, uh, in the past, you have we have robot, we have cobot, we have uh, machine vision camera manufacturer like Connex, Kians, and uh, in Techman we put them together, and right now we also put the AI function, the AI engine inside our robot without additional charge. It means you get our robot, the camera and the AI and all the software go with you, and you can use our platform to create a lot of, I would say creative or different use case uh, comparing to the, the, the thing you see, because uh, this is a new era of the automation. And I want show you another video or in our research task we work with NVIDIA about how we use uh, digital tuning to optimize robot motion to optimize vision inspection we train our robot in the digital world so it means right now you need to adjust all the things in the real world but think about in the future you adjust everything in the virtual world and when everything is done you just download the program put it in the robot and everything your, your, your robots start working. Okay, uh, could you help me to play this video? Automated Optical Inspection, or AOI, helps manufacturers identify defects and deliver high-quality products to their customers around the globe. Let's see how Techman, a subsidiary of Quanta, is using NVIDIA Isaac Sim to optimize inspection on their own manufacturing line. By placing the inspection camera directly on articulated robotic arms, Techman's robotic AOI solutions can inspect areas of products that fixed cameras simply can't access. But programming the movement of these robots can be time consuming. Developers need to determine the precise arm positions as well as the most efficient sequence to capture potentially hundreds of images. This can involve exploring thousands of possibilities to determine an optimal solution. By building a digital twin of the robot using NVIDIA Omniverse and Isaac Sim, Techman was able to reduce the programming time by over 70% compared to manually operating the real robot. Then, using powerful optimization tools in Isaac Sim to explore all possible path options, they were able to streamline the cycle time of each inspection by 20%. To further improve the quality of the inspection, Techman employed Omniverse Replicator to generate high-quality synthetic datasets. These were then used to train the machine learning models and dramatically enhanced model performance. And by running at the edge, dozens of AI models can be run efficiently and with low latency while inspecting particularly complicated products. Maximizing its use of NVIDIA Omniverse and AI, Techman's robotics AOI solutions help its manufacturing customers speed up inspections while improving product quality. As a, a region engineer, I believe the future of automation, the three key components of the future of automation will be robot, cobot, and the second one is vision, and the third one, uh, the second one is the vision and AI, and the third one is the digital twin, and the uh, tech man is on the path to that, and I would like to uh, hope you guys can join with us uh, either to be our partner or be friend, anything could be. And uh, please come to our booth at the B4 there, and we have showcased about prioritizing with our largest payload, TM25S, and our AM application, and we have AI, AOI application, and ultrasonic welding, a lot of application there. And I invite you to come to there to talk with me, with my colleagues, and talk about feature. And here, I also have some gift card here. Come to me and take one and show that to my colleague. You can get a gift. OK, thank you, Liz. I wanted to share with you. Thank you.